So for today's prompt, humor, I want to talk a bit about how the best kind of humor, just like the best kind of ideas, are the ones that come up without any sort of planning. As Paula Scher had said, the greatest ideas in the history of mankind were done by people who had no idea what they were doing. When it comes to my take on humor in RPGs, um, it's one of those things that's going to vary from table to table. My table has a bunch of riffers, and because of that, instead of trying to fight against it, I try and play into it. Try and in include moments of humor, sometimes moments of dark humor, depending on the game. And try not to play things too seriously until the serious parts are actually needed. It's a kind of ebb and flow thing. I think Tarantino once described it as, stre as stretching and releasing a rubber band, which... I think can apply here even if it's a little more chaotic than something more controlled that as a film would be. But for me, the thing that ends up working with humor is when somebody is tr is um doing just the minor things to help to help alleviate situations. This is why the phrase comic relief is so important. And while it could be easy to say that a lot of those um around the table stories involve something going wrong, that's not always the case. Sometimes you can have the story about how something went right, but in a way that's definitely interesting or ballsy or what have you. There's many different stories that can be told, and I don't think the humorous parts of it need to be pigeonholed into one particular type. But what do I know? I'm just a monk. <laughs>